Hi guys, it's me, Delicious Delights. How are you guys doing? Hopefully well. Okay, so today's video is going to be a review on the newest release from the House of By Radio, and it's called 11th Hour. So, I just sprayed it on my skin here. Get a big whiff of it. Okay, so this fragrance opens very fresh and tart, like a zesty, spicy, red berry smell. The spice in here is a bit peppery, it's quite sweet, and a little bit cinnamony. So basically, it has like a delicious bite to it. But it's not gourmand at all. There is a green and earthy tone, and it kind of gives like a green earthy mood um, kind of thing on my skin. Uh, the green, I'm sorry, the spice in here re kind of reminds me of red hot lips. You know the candy that you got when you were younger, probably? Uh, it was like in the shape of red lips, they were like hot, spicy, and cinnamony, and, um, and gummy. That's what it kind of reminds me of. And if you can imagine that those... <laughs> those candies are growing on a tree in the forest and then you're like picking them off of the tree and then eating them fresh that's what the opening smells like so if you like those red lip hot cinnamon candies i think they're called red hot lips uh then you'd probably like the opening fragrant the opening of this fragrance but just kind of picture that there's also a green earthiness in there as well okay so as this fragrance dries down on my skin, the fruitiness, the spicy red berry kind of smell does fade away and the green earthy woody aspect takes over. Uh, but at the same time, it doesn't really lose the sweetness or the spiciness, if you can picture that. So yes, the fruit completely fades away and those really nice earthy green notes and the spiciness and the sweetness remains. So that's pretty much what the mid of this fragrance is. In the dry down is the, my least favorite part of this fragrance. It does remind me of the thick waxy crayon smell that I also smell in Super Cedar in 1996 and in Velvet Haze, which are also Byredo fragrances. Um, you can definitely smell within a lot of Byredo fragrances that they do use a common base, um, just like Andy Tower does with his Towerade or Guerlain does with their Guerlainade or how do you say it. Um, I even smell this common base, that there, there is a common base in Profume Aroma fragrances, but Byredo definitely also has that. And that thick, waxy, woody, crayony smell uh, that I do smell in the dry down is not not pleasing. Well, it's okay. It doesn't smell terrible or anything, but it's just not something like amazing or something that I would like go out of my way to to want to smell like. Um, but if you do like that burrito base, if there's even a, per a name going around for it, I don't know. But if you do like that burrito base, then you probably like this. It's, it's like a crayony, earthy, patchouli thing. I don't know, but um, that's basically all that I get in the dry down. So that was my very, very quick review on 11th Hour by the House of Byredo. If you guys have tried this, please let me know in the comments below. I'd love to hear your feedback on it, if you like it or not, or you hate it, whatever. Just anything you want to say, I'd love to hear it. I'll be back with more videos soon, and thank you so much for watching. See you guys. Bye-bye.